Hello everyone. It's Friday the 3rd of April and I'm just coming towards the end of my third week of our new normal for most of us of working remotely and working from home. I'm really pleased, first of all, to have the opportunity to thank all of you for the tremendous speed and effectiveness but that both staff and students showed in shifting to this new mode of working. It really has been a huge individual and collective effort and it's to our great credit as a university community that this has been undertaken so well. Of course, there are aspects of this new way of working which are uncomfortable and unusual. In my own case, I miss lots of things about the old normal, uh, not least the open sessions in Forrester Hill and Old Aberdeen, the opportunity to visit the schools and to have conversations and discussions, the chance to walk across campus between buildings and just have casual conversations and chats and catch-ups with colleagues that I meet along the way. This is undoubtedly a very difficult time for higher education across the world. And most importantly, we don't know when our students will be able to rejoin us on campus. But it's really important that we all try to keep a sense of perspective and a sense of hope. And I was helped this week in my own sense of perspective and sense of, sense of hope when I received a letter from the granddaughter of one of my predecessors. George Adam Smith was principal of the university at the time of the First World War, during which he lost two of his three sons to military action. He was also principal of the university during the Great Economic Depression in the 1930s. So it's important for all of us to remember that despite the undoubted deep troubles that we face, previous generations have also undergone periods of tremendous difficulty and that their burden was at least as great as the one that we face today. As we look forward, it's important to remember that during these periods of difficulty, the university not only went on to survive, but to thrive and to flourish. And I'm sure the same will be true for us in the years ahead once we get through the current crisis. So we have a lot of work to do in the next couple of years, but every reason to be confident that we'll do that well and come out of it at the other end in good shape. Now, I mentioned earlier that one of the things I miss about our current situation, in our current situation, uh, is the conversations and the catch-ups with people across the campus. So I have a small suggestion to replicate, albeit virtually, uh, some of that experience, because I'm setting up from four to five every Friday afternoon a chance to have a conversation and a catch-up if you'd like to do that. So if you're interested in having a discussion about how the university is now, how the world is now, how we could set the university and the world to rights, then please get in touch with Jane, my PA, whose email is shown at the bottom of this screen. And I look forward then to having a conversation with you in small groups so that we're able to have a proper discussion. For now, please look forward to the long weekend that we're about to have. This is an opportunity to take care of yourselves and to offer support to your friends and family so we all come out of this in good shape. Thank you. Bye for now.